Hello friends and happy Wednesday. I'm so tired. <laughs> so it is, okay, so this is, this is, this is sad. It's 8.30 a.m. and I'm, I just feel like it's so, it's so early. <laughs> I usually get up around 9 a.m. So I got up around seven today. So a couple, hour, couple, couple of hours earlier than normal. But I have a lot to do today. I have a lot of errands to run this morning before we start homeschool at 11. So I wanted to get up early and get all my errands done. Um, I need to put some makeup on. But before I do that, I just wanted to give you a quick update of where I am for orders. So whew, we just had our Black Friday sale and you guys did not disappoint. I've had so many orders and it's just, oh, it's so amazing. I'm just, I like, I just, oh, uh, I'm just feeling so grateful. So, so grateful. Okay, so let me flip you around. So first I have all of these orders here that need to go to the post office this morning. And then here is the stack that Jacob's gonna cut for me today all printed and I sort them by cut file. I don't know if I've ever showed you this, but so this is a cut file called the week five add-on for the budget mom budget by paycheck workbook. So when he goes to cut, he just goes straight to that cut file. He knows, um, and then he'll have the correct cut file. So the, that's the stack he is going to cut today. That'll probably be at least two hours worth of cutting there. And then for tomorrow, he has this whole stack, this stack, and that stack. So this is my budget mom, budget by paycheck workbook, stuff that needs to be cut, my universal stickers that need to be cut, and then every other, all the other categories that need to be cut. So that's more like three hours of work and he's only gonna be coming in for two hours tomorrow. So I'll probably be doing the last hour of cutting myself tomorrow. And then he's also coming in, wait, so today is Wednesday, he's coming in Thursday and he's also coming in Friday to cut for me. He usually cuts for two days. And this week um, I asked him to come in four days because I knew it was gonna be a crazy week. Okay, so time to do my makeup. So this foundation that I use all the time and that I love, it was on Black Friday sale this week. Yeah, that was this week. And my friend and um, one of my viewers and my friend, Gina Moffitt, she sent me a, um, gift card to Laura Geller so that I could take advantage of their Black Friday sale. So shout out and thank you to Gina. I was so excited to go in and uh, reorder my foundation because it's time it needed to be reordered. It's, um, I'm running out. <laughs> I also um, was able, because of the Black Friday sale, I was also able to order the, what's it called? <laughs> the bronzer, which I'm excited about. Um, because the bronzer I'm currently using, I just feel like is a little dark. Uh, so I'm excited to try out the Laura Geller bronzer. So the one I currently use, this is by Benefit. I got this last year for Christmas from my mom and it's uh, Benefit Cheek the Mail and it has a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And the blush is too dark for me. The bronzer is Hula Bronzer, which is like a classic bronzer. And I, I've used it for years, but just all of a sudden it just feels really dark when I put it on. You'll see when I put it on in a moment here. But I love the highlighter cookie. So um, I'll keep using cookie. <laughs> but the bronzer, I'm gonna probably most likely switch to the Laura Geller when it comes in. See, it's pretty intense. I have to do a lot of blending to blend it out. Okay, so this morning, before I go, before we do homeschool, I need to run to the bank. I need to run to the post office to drop off all the orders I just showed you. I need to go to the grocery store. I just have a handful of things I need to pick up. Um, another subscriber, Erin Lynn um, from Without, I believe her YouTube channel is Without Limits Budgets by Erin Lynn. Erin Lynn. Um, I can't remember if that's exactly the title of her channel, but I will link her channel in the description box of this video. 
I'll try really hard to remember to do that. Sometimes I say, okay, I'll link this in the description box and then I forget. But she asked me to share this recipe that I shared a long time ago um, and she said her family loved it, but she's lost the recipe and she wants me to share it again. It's one of my family's favorites too. I haven't made it in a long time, but it's a crock pot recipe. So I will get the ingredients to make that today. Crock pot recipes are so nice because they just cook all day. Like you just put them in in the morning, they cook all day, and when you're ready to eat, it's all like done for you. It's so nice. And then the last place I wanna run by before homeschool today is um, Bath and Body Works. I received a gift card. I opened it at the end of my last video um, from a subscriber, and I'm going to use it today. Her handwriting is beautiful, cursive handwriting, but I'm having a hard time reading her name. Teresa, maybe? Here, I'll show you guys. So beautiful. Does that say Teresa? I think it's Teresa. I, I saved this card. I have it like standing over here because I just love it so much. I love to look at it. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go to, she gave, she sent me a gift card to Bath and Body Works. I opened that in last week's vlog and we're gonna go use it today to buy Christmas candles. I'm so excited. I think I'll be able to get two candles. I'm pretty sure. So we'll see about that. Um, so I will let you guys know which scents I get. I love to burn a candle when we're doing homeschool. It just makes it feel so like warm and cozy and happy memories. <laughs> just like, just everything. I like to make our space super comfy and cozy when we do homeschool and candles help with that. So for December, we are doing, our, our unit study is holidays around the world. So every day we are doing a different country and we're learning about the, the holidays that say they celebrate in this time frame, this winter time frame. Um, a lot of them are Christmas, but there's like the Chinese New Year, um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. And then each country has its like unique thing. Like when we were learning about France yesterday, they have this holiday where um, the kids, it's called St. Nicholas Day, where the kids put their shoes out. And then St. Nicholas, who is different from their Santa Claus, which is called Pierre Noel. Um, so St. Nicholas brings candy and put it puts it in their shoes. <laughs> When I was growing up in Germany, did you guys know I grew up in Germany? I, I lived in Germany from kindergarten through second grade on an army base in Germany. And, um, but we had a similar holiday there. We did that same thing. We, we like, I remember cleaning our shoes and putting them out for, for St. Nick to come and um, fill them with candy. It was always a fun, it was a fun time. Happy memories. <laughs> So that's what we learned about yesterday. I have this curriculum that I purchased way back when I was a teacher that I've been using for to do this unit. And then I also got a couple of books. So I will show you that a little bit later too. Sorry, puffing up the, puffing up the curls. I feel like in winter when the weather gets, like the air is drier, my curls are like a little bit like, not as curly. Okay guys, let's go run these errands. And then, here, I can't even see you. Okay guys, so let's go run these errands and we'll check in in a little bit. So, I was about to leave to run my errands. Sorry, you're so low. <laughs> Let me see if I can lift you up on something. Okay, so I was about to leave to run all my errands and my car is completely frozen over. So I decided to let that warm up and I'll tell, and in the meantime, I'll tell you guys about our winter curriculum. We're just doing this in the month of December. So first of all, here is the program that I purchased from Teacher Pay Teacher many years ago, but it's still available on Teacher Pay Teacher. I use it in my classroom for years every winter. And then, um, so now I'm using it with Logan. And when I was doing it in the classroom, they have, a slideshow for each country but since we are um, I could have done a slideshow with him on the computer but I thought why not just like print it all out so like yesterday was France so then it has all of these pages 
where it talks about France. So this is a slideshow that you would do on the computer, like with the classroom, with the whole classroom. So you read all about France. I think there's one more page. And then um, you do an exit ticket, your passport, and the map. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So that's the first binder that I made. And then here's his binder. Um, when I did this with my class, we just made like little files, but I thought, why not make it into a binder for him? <laughs> Since he's my only student right now. So in the binder, I have this um, pocket which holds the exit ticket and the passport. So let me show you that. So this is the exit ticket book and um, it's just like a fill in the blank comprehension check about the slideshow that we did. So I, after I read the slideshow to him and we discuss the slideshow, then he fills out this exit ticket. And then for his passport, he every country we visit, he will get a stamp for that country and then um, the date that we visited and then one fun fact that he learned while we were visiting that country. So his fun fact was that they have 13 desserts on um, Christmas Eve, which that's a lot of desserts. Okay, so those are the things in his little bag here. And then we have a map of the world so he can easily see where we're going each day. And then every time we visit a country, he's going to color that in on his own map. And then finally for each country we visit, um, he has a reading passage, so he'll read a little bit more about the country and then he'll answer some questions about the country. So that is it. That's the curriculum, but I did purchase a few books from Amazon, which I will show you. A few books and games, just a couple. I purchased a couple of books and games from Amazon just to, you know, to make make it a little more fun. So the first uh, book I got from Amazon is called Christmas Around the World and it doesn't have every country in here like it didn't have France. But today we're doing England for example and let me show you. Well they call it they have Great Britain in here but so they have a little bit um, another one more thing to read about that country and then a picture. So not every country we visit will have a, a story in here. And then um, I got this because he loves like scary movies, horror books, that kind of thing. So I got this, it's called Scary Book of Christmas Lore. And um, yesterday when we went to France, we learned about this guy and I'm gonna totally butcher his name, but I think it's Pierre Foutard. And that's what he looks like. He's a very scary guy. He's one of Santa's helpers, and he his job is to um, bring uh, sticks, a bundle of sticks, to the naughty boys and girls around the world. So those are the couple of books that we're doing in addition to the slideshow that I'm showing Logan. And then um, we are doing, I got a couple of games. So this one is called Santa Cookie Elf candy snowman and I forgot the name of the original game that this is based off I think it's like taco cat pizza something but um, it's just a fun game it's not it's not educational it's truly just a fun game and then this also is an educational but just fun it's called sussed and um, we played this one yesterday this one you have, every player gets a card, three cards that say A, B, or C. And then when it's your turn, you, this is what the back of the card looks like. And this is what the front of the card looks like. So when it's your turn, you read one of these questions and the possible answers. For example, this first one was, I'll do better on my exam about A, insects, B, trees, or C, clouds. And then the other players, um, have to guess whether you you would answer A, B, or C. So for me, um, so make a guess. Do you think I would be able to do better 
discussing insects, an exam about insects, A, B, trees, or C, clouds. So then I would put my card down to what my answer was, either A, B, or C, and then they would put their guess as to what my answer was. And um, yesterday we played, I think we played until, every card is worth one point, so we played until three points. And um, my answer, by the way, is trees. I feel like I would do best on an exam about trees. So B, the answer would be B for me. So if he got it right, he would get the point. If he didn't get the right, get it right, I would get the point. This, they have all different sus, like different colors. This is the purple box. So in this one, you put, you um, have to say, um, uh, you have to say a phrase in order. And the phrase is Santa cookie, elf, candy, snowman. So you say that and as you put a card down. So if I were going first, I put a card down, I would say Santa. And then Logan would put a card down and he would say cookie. And you keep going back and forth like that. And if you play, if the card you play matches the word you said, so if I played a Santa card when I said Santa, I would have to slap the deck or one of us would slap the deck. And the person who slaps the deck last has to take all the cards. So the whole point is to get rid of your cards first. And then there's some like silly things. I don't know because we haven't played this one yet, but when we did, they have the Halloween version of this, and we did Halloween like when they, we got a ghost, we had to do a certain thing. Like, there's different like movements and things you do in addition to slapping the deck, but it's it goes fast, it's fun, um, and it makes us laugh. Hi guys, so I am back from running all my errands. Wow, I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I feel like I've already accomplished so much today. So first of all, I wanted to show you what I got from Bath and Body Works. I'm so excited. I love how they like wrap it up like a gift for you. This is called Under the Christmas Tree. Look at that lid. It's glass and it smells perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It smells like Christmas. So let's see, do they have a description? Okay, so the scents in here are fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves with natural essential oils. Oh, I am going to light this while we do our holidays around the world lessons today. I'm so excited. I wanted to show it to you before I light it up. And um, we're about to start school, but first let me get the crock pot meal going and then it'll be time for homeschool. So I don't have like a typed out recipe to share with you guys. This is literally just like this group of ingredients that I throw together in a crock pot. So to start with, we have a pound of chicken. And for me, that is was equivalent to one um, chicken breast from my butcher. One block of cream cheese, one can of Rotel uh, tomatoes, and one packet of ranch seasoning. This is a one ounce package. And the can of tomatoes is just like the normal size, which I think is 10 ounces, something like that. <laughs> and I went with the original flavor. Um, so all of that goes into the crock pot. And then towards the end, like 30 minutes before you're done cooking, you add a can of corn and a can of black beans. Um, I found that if you add the corn and the black beans at the beginning, like you could add at the very beginning, just throw everything together, but they tend to get dried out. So they're already totally cooked, so it's fine to add them at the end. And then um, you can serve it with chips or rice. I actually do both. I serve it with rice and I serve it with chips on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that first group of ingredients into the crock pot. Crock pot. So we have that um, chicken breast, so I'm gonna put that in there. Next, I'm adding this block of cream cheese. Then I'm gonna open up this can of Rotel tomatoes. You don't need to drain it. All of, it just goes straight into the crock pot. So after you um, open it up, you just dump it right into the crock pot. And finally, I'm adding the packet of ranch seasoning. So just cut the top off, sprinkle it in, and then I stir it together a little bit. Oh, wait, do I stir it together? I can't remember. <laughs> but you know, like the chicken is solid and the cream cheese is solid. So there's not like a whole lot to stir together at this point. So that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the temperature and the time. My crock pot cooks super fast. Um, so I'm cooking it on low for three hours to start with. And then I'm gonna come in later and add the corn and the black beans. 
So this is three hours later and I am just shredding up my chicken. I think in my old crock pot, it would have taken at least four hours to get to this point. So this crock pot goes quite a bit faster, but I'm gonna shred up this, the chicken and then like stir everything together before I add the corn and the black beans. Before I add the corn and the black beans, I like to um, drain it and rinse it really well, especially the black beans. Um, I've A friend of mine taught me a while ago that like the reason why black beans are kind of gassy is because of the amount of gas that's like in the can. So you need to rinse it all away. And he told me just keep rinsing it until all the bubbles are gone. So you can see that like, there's bubbles there. So I'm going to keep rinsing it until all the bubbles are gone. And then I'm going to add the corn and rinse that as well. I think some people don't rinse their corn um, because it just it's just in water, but I go ahead and I rinse the corn as well. So here's my black beans and my corn all ready to be added to the crock pot. Okay, I'm just gonna stir everything together and then I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 more minutes. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the rice. So for the rice, I'm just making plain white rice to put the crock pot meal on top of. And for me, the way I make it is I just do one cup of normal rice with two two cups of water i do have a little bit of butter in there and i also add some salt while it's cooking so it has some butter and some salt so i bring that up to a boil and then i cover it and let it simmer on low for 20 minutes after 20 minutes i take the lid off of it and i fluff it with a fork hi guys so dinner is ready here is what it looks like it's not the prettiest but it is pretty tasty and i got some chips here and i thought i would do a little taste test with you um i'm gonna be eating in my office tonight because i, I need to continue working on orders but let me get a little bit of rice on here and a little bit of the chicken and we'll give it a, ta a taste test and see how it is It's as good as I remember. So easy and so yummy. Everyone loves it. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday night. I just, I had to change my shirt because I had a little plumbing issue earlier and my shirt, the sweater that I was wearing got sprayed with water, <laughs> so I changed my shirt. But it is Wednesday night and I wanted to do, to do a quick check-in before I head off. It is 11 o'clock. I've been working till midnight every night since Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but tonight I just couldn't do it. I'm like, you got it, Jennifer, you got one more hour in you, but I don't. I'm gonna head off to bed and be back tomorrow morning. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi friends, happy Saturday. So this week has just been a bit of a blur <laughs> because um, I did do homeschool this week, but in addition to homeschool, like every waking moment, except for one thing yesterday, I feel like I've been dedicated to just filling orders. So at this moment, we are down to 68 orders, which is a lot for us. Um, I try to get down to zero by Friday, so 68 is a lot. And I'm gonna work so hard today and tomorrow to fill as many of those as I can. Um, we don't have homeschool today or tomorrow, so I can dedicate the whole day and night <laughs> to working on orders, so that is the plan. Um, but. A couple of things I wanted to tell you about before I logged off is yesterday I did take a break to do a fun Friday activity with Logan and we went to see um, we went to see the new Hunger Games movie. I think it's called, what's it called? The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's so good. I, I'm a Hunger Games fan. I haven't read the books because the, these movies came out before my whole like reading for fun like thing that I do now so I haven't read any of the books but I loved all the movies so um I was excited to see this and it did not disappoint like I it was so good <laughs> so anywho that was really fun yesterday and then also I have some happy mail here um I think I know what it is but let's just open it up and check it out Okay, so a little quick backstory here. So a couple of weeks ago, a company called All Joy contacted me and they sent me this throw blanket, this electric heated throw blanket. And oh my God, you guys, that has changed my life. I literally use it every single day. I love that throw blanket. I actually, I use it like when I'm sitting on the couch. I use it when I, like before I go to bed at night, I put it on my bed and I heat up the bed before I get in. And oh, it's so lovely. But um, they 
they contacted me and asked me if I wanted something else from them. I'm like, well, yeah, because I loved the throw blanket so much. So they sent me this. This is called the R1 Eyes Massager. And I'm so excited actually to try this out. I get really bad headaches, like debilitating headaches where I have to like go and lay down with an ice pack on my eyes and on my head to make it stop. And um, this is an eye massager. And I, I was like, wow, that's like exactly what I need for when I get my headaches. But I don't have a headache today, but I thought we would open it up, check it out, try it out, see what's going on. They are still having um, wonderful sales for the holidays, so I will put a link to their website down in the description box of this video. And then in addition to their sales, you can also use my discount code, which I don't remember off the top of my head my discount code, how much you get to save, but I will put, put it here on the screen <laughs> so you can see how much you get to save. But you can use that in addition to their sale prices, so that's amazing. I don't know. Um, why this company has chosen to work with me, but I'm so grateful <laughs> because so far I love that their products. Okay, so it comes with this storage bag. That's really nice. You can store it in here. And then there's some paperwork that we don't need to look at right now. Okay, so it looks like you charge it like the way you would charge a cell phone. It's the same kind of charger. Ooh, it has a nice weight to it. Okay, so what I, this is so like um, new age, <laughs> like science, science fiction, new age looking. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, this off. So it has a power button here and I'm just, I'm trying to fill. So I was wondering, I have no idea. Like, I don't know, does this heat up? Does it massage my eyes? Well, here. Okay, side of the box it says it's portable, heat massaging, Bluetooth, oh, Bluetooth, and rhythmic massage. I should probably read the directions. <laughs> Let me look at the directions really quickly. Okay, so I read through the whole direct, the, the whole instruction book. I have real coffee today, by the way. This should help perk me up. I have just real coffee with my sugar, with sugar-free peppermint mocha. Oh, I'm so excited. I love sugar-free peppermint mocha. And it's only available like this time of the year. So um, I'm drinking real coffee this morning. Oh, I read the whole book and now it's charging. Super easy to charge. Just plugged it into my cell phone charger. And um, when it's done charging later today, I'm gonna go ahead and get some orders filled. So when it's done charging later today, I'll come back and show you how it works. It has, it plays music, you guys. That's why it has a Bluetooth. You can connect it to your cell phone so you can listen to music while your eyes are being massaged. I'm so excited to try this. I, mean, this is, I feel, I just, I feel like, my bedroom is becoming like a whole spa experience. <laughs> you know, I have like the warm bed and I'm gonna have massaging eye thingy, like, oh, it's gonna be my own little spa. Okay, so we'll check in a little bit later. Hey guys, so funny story. Not like funny, haha, -ha, funny, interesting. So it is, I don't even know, I think, let me see what time it is. It's not late, it seems late. It seems late because it's dark, getting dark already. Like there's my window. And see it's like already getting dark outside but it's 3 45 so it gets dark here around 5 p.m anywho i am so exhausted from this week i decided just to take like a two hour nap and then i'm going to get back to filling orders but i have a headache this is the funny story part because i was like i get these headaches i don't have one today but <laughs> now i have a headache so i'm going to try out this thing let's try it out Okay, so let's power this on. Okay guys, that is so cool. <laughs> I need to figure out how to connect it through Bluetooth so I can pick my own music and like change the volume and stuff, but it's incredible. I would highly recommend this product. Hello friends, happy Sunday. So I was just thinking this week is such a blur to me because I've just been so focused on filling orders this week that when I go back to edit this vlog, which I'm about to do and get it uploaded for you guys, 
It'll be interesting to see what I did this week because I literally cannot remember what I did this week besides filling orders. So it'll be interesting to see what I was able to capture for you guys. But I did wanna say that the eye mask thing that I did last night, I am after I logged off with you guys, I was able to connect to my phone. It was super easy. I just did like search for Bluetooth and it came up as eye mask and then I was able to listen to my music at the volume that I wanted and I picked Enya, she's my favorite musician. And um, it was amazing. Just sat back, listened to Enya, had an eye massage. It was so cool. I really, really like that product. So I will have them linked in the description box of this video along with a discount code that you can use in addition to their already amazing sale prices that they currently have going on. Okay friends, I'm gonna log off here so I can get this edited and uploaded for you guys. I will see you all again next week. Oh wait, before I go, before I go, I just wanna give a big huge shout out and thank you to everyone who ordered from my Black Friday sale. This has been an amazing week. Um, it's been a lot of work, but it's also been a lot of fun. Every day that I got to get up and fill orders, I was excited. I was excited to live my life. <laughs> and like, I, I just kept thinking like, this is my job. Like, I am so lucky that this is my job. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you guys also for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I'll see you all again next time. Bye everyone.